there. Another week, another episode. Welcome back to Switch It Up. Last week we met Ivayo, who was switching with Daphne. Now we're at Daphne's house. Let's see if she will enjoy being a Bulgarian for today. Hi, Hi. there, Daphne. I'm from Switch It Up. I have a letter for you from Ivayo. Can I come in, please? Yes, of course. Come in. Thank you. So I have this letter for you from Ivayo that will explain your Bulgarian day. All right, I'm excited. Here, I also have the first challenge from your letter. It's a puzzle. If you figure it out, you get a translated version of the recipe. And if not, well, I wish you good luck. Thank you. So uh, I got the first challenge from Floor. It's the Japanese puzzles, and I'm going to try to solve them. So let's start. It's uh, these metal puzzles and it's a disassemble and assemble puzzle so that's gonna be fun let me try not to break it and I guess I'm gonna have to take them apart in some way but it's quite stuck oh wait oh come on okay let's let's look at the other puzzle for a little bit Somebody should have told Ivarlo that I'm not a great puzzler. Oh! I think I did this. <laughs> but do I put it together now? Ah, wait. Oh, I took it apart, but now getting it back together is a fun challenge, I guess. Yeah. So now that you've done your first challenge, it's time for your second challenge, which if you complete this one, you will get the ingredients for your recipe. The challenge is dancing and Bulgarian folk dance, which will be taught to you by our lovely production. It consists out of three steps, so I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. So Daphne, after this practicing, are you ready to do it now for real? Yes! Okay, let's go! Okay, so uh, I did the folklore challenge and that's what gave me the ingredients. So now I can get to cooking, but because I didn't solve the puzzles, I'm going to have to translate the recipe myself. But thank God, I have my phone for that. So uh, let's get right into it. So I'm going to make moussaka, and uh, I've used Google to translate the recipe. So yeah, let's go. Let's start with cutting the potatoes. I mean, knowing the Bulgarians, they do everything themselves, including peeling the potatoes, so that's fun. So, potatoes are in a bowl. Let's see, what else? If you ever need to get some emotions out, just cut an onion. It does the trick. And into the bowl. Four cloves of garlic. Bulgarians okay, must love their garlic. This little thing makes your life way easier.
So Daphne, how was your day living as a Bulgarian today? Well, it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I did a lot of things. I did the puzzle, I did, made the musaka, and I did the Bulgarian dance, uh, which was actually surprisingly hard because I'm not really a dancer or a sporter or anything. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I can imagine in a big group, because do you do it usually like in a big group, the dancing? Well, yeah, so well, uh, we gather in front of the Our National Theater and like every weekend there is something like uh, these dances. I don't know how to explain, but yeah. It sounds like a lot of fun, like it brings a whole culture together. Yes, I it think. does. And also the musaka, it was, it was very fun to cook and I can imagine it's yeah. like a center of uh, like a family evening and it is, eating it together. It is quite the big thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and usually in my home we eat moussaka every single day, so I'm kind of tired of it, but uh, I really enjoy it still, yeah. yeah it's very good. And um, the puzzles, is that something you do yourself to like, sometimes, relax? Sometimes, just sometimes, yeah, it's, but I quite enjoy it. It I was. Wanna, I want to purchase more, I, I enjoy that activity, yes. For you it was relaxing, for me it was very yeah. frustrating, yeah, I, I could not get it done. Yeah, I can, I can say, I, I, yeah. So Daphne, did you learn anything? Well, I learned um, some new things and also some previous things because I already lived with two Bulgarians for, mm -hmm. uh, I think, altogether like two years, two and a half years. So I learned some of the culture, some of their traditions, but also I learned some new things today. I, for example, learned that with birthdays, you have this whole superstition where yes. your 18th birthday is a big thing, your 20th birthday is a really big thing, yes. but then you don't celebrate your 40th birthday because that's yeah. bad luck or it something? It is bad luck, yeah. Can you tell me why? It is, is this related to that? So oh. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it properly in English, but yeah, generally just related with that. 40, 40 days is, uh, yeah. 40 days from since a person died, it is a big superstition, we just don't... Oh, yeah. so you don't... Yeah, yeah, we just 40, no. <laughs> okay, 40 yeah. is a big no. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was it was fun living as you for a day and experiencing your culture, and now yes. I understand I'm your I'm glad, culture. I'm happy, yes. Yes, it was nice. So, do you have any thoughts or feedback of for today? Well, the only thing that I kind of thought was weird was with the musica, you use so much oil where it's oh, yeah. so not necessary, so yeah. I may have gone a little bit Dutch on that and took mm. it down a little, yeah. but that's the only thing, like you guys use a lot of oil. We use a lot of oil for everything, for yes. everything, not only from <laughs> the musica, everything has to be poured in oil. Really? Yes. Oh god. No, that's the only thing where I thought like, eh, that's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. But apart from that, it was, it was yeah, great. I can understand that. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Well, thank you both so much for participating. Of course. So these were the first two participants of Switch It Up. I hope you enjoyed. Please let us know who you think did better on our Instagram. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned, bye bye. <laughs>